Hey guys, this is Crystal High Queen. Welcome to my channel. So today we're going to do a general collective reading. Uh, this is going to be for 24th of February 2022 Thursday, but it might resonate whenever you come across this video. So <clears throat> let's just see what's going on today. It's just energy guys and not gender specific. If this resonates with you, just don't forget to reach out to me for a personal reading and we can dig deeper into your situation. <clears throat> All my details are given below in the description box. So yeah, let's just jump right in. What's the strongest energy for today, please? What's happening today? What does the collective needs to know for today, please? Thank you. <clears throat> Walking away in the reverse. Hmm. Let's see what's that about. Number 27. Blossoming abundance. Okay. Contract in the reverse. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. This could be actually a lot of multiple things. Okay, let me just get a few more cards. Let's get, let's dig deeper what's going on here, please. Man holding a heart. Financial constraints, all right. <clears throat> so there is if this is your person, if you are inquiring about someone, there is this man. I think this is a masculine man holding a heart. This person is in love with you. Look at all the red flowers, red heart. This person could be a Leo because of, you know, I, I you know, sometimes I feel that Leos have this very shiny, tanned, skin okay they have that golden aura to them the leos they have a beautiful mane like very thick heavy shiny hair those are some physical features you might see in a leo person man or woman right this person could be a leo we also have contract which is libra so leo or libra Okay, so it's just zodiac, like it's just energy, guys. It, it doesn't have to be that zodiac. So this person is in love with you here. If you are seeing a lot of love hearts, that might be a confirmation for some of you. The thing is that this person is just stuck where they are right now because either they don't feel good enough for you or they are literally dealing with uh, like financial struggles right now. They're struggling financially. It's making them feel very unbalanced. Okay. Uh, this could be that they, they don't feel ready for a commitment yet. Hmm. We do have angel of balance in the reverse so this angel i feel look at all the pyramids in the background this person has a knowing that you have had past lives together right this person really admires you look at how this angel is just constantly looking at this blue i i don't know what that is but how like she's just with all the love and admiration she's just constantly looking at this blue cup 
or a ways was i don't know what that is in the reverse this this shows that this person has this inner knowing but this intensity this feeling 515 on the clock guys yeah so this is 515 is a very strong indication that whatever the situation is this is going to change for the better and very soon 515 brings in news of positive change right this person is stuck on you they are unable to walk away from this situation from you and blossoming abundance is is a new beginning right this person wants this this could be anyone okay this could be a karmic a soulmate a twin flame it's not specified here right but this is someone who wants to have something stable with you a new beginning but right now they don't feel prepared but they're definitely in love Hmm, let's see. What is this person prominently dealing with currently? What is this person dealing with currently? Happiness. So they're struggling to find happiness. Okay, one more card. And abundance, yeah. So this person might have related abundance and happiness. If I have abundance, I will be happy. I can be happy only when I have abundance, right? It is actually affecting their, their health. There, there might be a need to change this mindset because... When you are happy, you attract abundance. You do not chase abundance. You, you become abundance, right? You become happy within yourself, within what you have, what you are. And then automatically you start attracting abundance. This person is struggling to understand that. If when I have this much money, I'll be happy. That is a very wrong mindset. No, that is not how it works. Thank you, universe, for all that I have. I am a magnet to money, to financial abundance. Every penny that I spend comes back to me ten, ten times multiplied, right? That's how you start preparing or start changing your subconscious that subconscious thought becomes your conscious reality, your energy. And then once that happens, you start sending that vibration towards the universe. Now it's a cycle. What you send out comes back to you. So when you're sending an energy of abundance, the universe is returning that abundance to you, right? That's how the law of attraction works. If this is you, it might be a good idea for you guys to, you know, just have a look at some of the Law of Attraction videos, tons of videos on YouTube, guys, right? But if this is your person, there's a need to change this mindset. All right, let's see. Hmm, I'll just shift the cards a bit so that you can see them clearly let's bring them here okay yeah so this person is also desperately trying to become more financially stable they're trying to become rich in every way because they want this new beginning with you. They feel that they will be good enough for you when they have this abundance. Even if you don't care about that, that's what this person 
is thinking. Okay, let's see what's happening. Hmm. <sighs> what's happening today, please? What's happening today? What does the collective need to know for today, please? Thank you. The moon. Okay, something is being found out today. Something is coming to light. Also, this person's passion burns bright for you. You have you have the key to their heart. Okay, let's see what else, please. Okay, yeah, this is a good news. Something is coming to light, guys. It's a good news. There's a ginger cat here. Some of you might have a ginger cat. If you are seeing a lot of ginger cats, like in your reality or pictures or videos, that's a confirmed sign of good news is on, is on its way to you. Something really good. It will make you happy or something is coming to light. A secret, perhaps, is coming to light. Okay, let's see what else, please. Page of Cups in the Reverse. Hmm. Let's see what's that about. Six of Cups. Okay. So today you might, you just might hear something about, or you just, you know, something would happen today or in the very near future that will it will be a confirmation for you that this person misses you terribly. They're in love with you, but they can't express that. And you'll have a confirmation. Maybe you'll hear something about that. Maybe there, there would be a sign or a synchronicity. Maybe this video is a confirmation for some of you. That this person is complete, completely in love with you, but they can't express it. Page of Cups in the reverse is inability to express, not using their intuition, trusting their intuition. But this person misses you terribly. They feel this past life connection with you again with the Six of Cups here. For some of you, you might have known this person from childhood. Okay, one more card, please. What's happening here? Page of Swords. So this person keeps an eye on you. This person is trying to introspect. They, they are really looking at your social media. Maybe they're asking about you. Maybe they're Googling, Googling your name and trying to see what comes up when they type your name. On Google but this is like introspection just look at this eagle the necklace here this is introspection they're trying to learn something about you this person has their head in the clouds but they're trying to think straight okay maybe you will get to know today or in the very immediate future that this person is trying to gain information about you. Maybe that's the news that you're getting. Something is coming to light, guys. Hmm. A lot of pages here. This person could definitely be younger than you, age-wise. Because we have Page of Wands, Page of Cups, Page of Swords. We have children here as well. This person could be younger than you. Okay, let's see. Why is the moon here, please? 
Knight of Cups. Yeah. So yeah, that is what is coming to light. This person has a lot of romantic feelings for you. This person is planning to ask you out on a date, perhaps. Like a very emotional, flirtatious offer to take you out, to flirt with you, something like that. Because their passion really burns bright with this flame here. Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, the, you are the queen. This person is coming up as the page and the knight, not as a king. This person could definitely be younger than you. 1551 on the clock, guys. Or this person is holding a very immature energy at this time. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo energy. Someone very beautiful, a perfect wife or a spouse material, someone who has a lot of love to offer, a lot of loyalty to offer. Someone who is financially stable, very grounded, very charitable, right? She's extremely good in bed. She appreciates her man. This is a perfect wife. This person has a lot of romantic Feelings for you. Hmm, let's see. Why is the Page of Wands here, please? Okay, so Seven of Wands in the reverse. Feeling defeated, not being able to like to fight this anymore. This person feels like a child in front of you, a child who has a crush on someone older, like on a teacher perhaps, or an older woman, or an older man. This person feels very defeated by their passion and all these romantic feelings for you. And the thing is that the sexual victory is what they want, is what they desire. They, they definitely have a window, a way to, to look at you. Just look at this knight, how he is so intensely watching through this circle here. It looks like a small window. Even this knight's head is in the clouds. We have clouds in the background again. Very passionate knight who is after victory. This person, this knight here, is returning victorious. This is a lot of attention. This could be that this person themselves is in the public eye in some way. Okay? This person is popular, but the thing is, you have stolen their heart. You have the keys to their heart. Everybody's looking at them, but they are looking at you. That is why this person feels so defeated here. Okay, so with the Knight of Cups, we have Cancer energy. Why is the Page of Cups in the reverse, please? Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. This person has, or at least today, they are losing all their focus over you. They feel completely distracted. This could also mean that they are not trusting or using their intuition to come up with a plan, to come up with a strategy. All this person desires is to be with you, to take you out on a romantic date where they could flirt with you, but they're not trusting their intuition. First of all, their mindset is very blocked. When I have money, I'll be happy. That is not the correct mindset. And secondly, this person is just completely like out of place, unable to focus on their work, just thinking about you, 
feeling very distracted, but not trusting their intuition when it comes to making a plan to approach you. Yeah, again, King of Cups. This is also like the man holding a heart, completely in love with you, but being very careful, just stuck to the throne, not willing to dive in deep into the water and, you know, just let go. Okay, let's see. Six of Cups, please. Why is the Six of Cups here? Why is the Six of Cups here, please? Thank you. The Sun. Oh, my goodness. This could definitely be someone you have met in your childhood, perhaps. This could have been a friend or a childhood crush. This could be someone, someone younger. Whoever this is, you are their happiness. We again have Leo energy here with the sun card. A lot of sunflowers. Wow. Look at this beautiful bright card here, the sun. You are their happiness. And they, they know that because they miss you terribly. It's like there are no colors in their life when you are not around. <sighs> okay, why is the Page of Swords here, please? Why is the Page of Swords here? Thank you. Mm, again, this person just keeps looking at you. Maybe you are not even aware up till now. You were not even aware of this, but you will get to know today that this person is just constantly looking at you, not interested in anything else that's going on around them. Four of Cups. Maybe today or in the very near future, this person is about to approach you with the Knight of Cups here. Because we do have a lot of cards that represent communication. Page of Wands, Page of Swords, Knight of Cups, even the Sun card here. <sighs> wow. Okay, anything else, please? Queen of Swords with the world, yes. This person watches you guys. Or well, they are about to approach you. Like to open up a passage or a window from which they, they could see you. Something like that. But this is interaction of some kind. Queen of Swords, Libra energy. A beautiful queen whose heart has been broken too many times. So now she has wisened up. She doesn't accept bullshit from anyone. Okay. With the purple flowers here, her crown chakra is very active. She appreciates honesty, authenticity, because she herself is very authentic. Her head is not in the clouds. She thinks straight. She cuts off anyone who doesn't respect her or her boundaries. Okay, so this person knows that, that, that you are someone mature, someone who knows their own worth, their value. So this person is a bit intimidated as well. That is why they are coming up as these pages and night childish energy because they are intimidated wheel of the ear yes and the page of pentacles this person might also want to apologize to you in some way this could also mean that there's like a small message or a friend request or a follow request of some kind 
Okay, because this person has first of all started to believe in their destiny. You are the destiny. You have made them a believer. Okay, this could also mean that they have been waiting for the right time to apologize to you or to communicate or interact with you in some way. And maybe this time is near. Very soon, you just might hear from this person. And it could be, for some of you, a small text message. It could be a friend or a follow request. Maybe to open up a passage to have a look at you in some form. Or to keep an eye on you on your social media. Something like that. Okay, 25.52 on the clock, guys. So this is mirroring. Maybe you yourself have a way to keep an eye on this person. Let's see. What's the outcome of this video, please? What is the outcome? What is happening today or in the immediate future, please? What is the outcome? Great gratitude in the reverse. Yes, so this person really needs to come back to an attitude, a consciousness of, you know, being thankful, being grateful for things. That's how they will attract abundance. Family, friends and guides. Okay, so... Their family, their friends and guides, they're all trying to, to help them understand. Guidance is readily available for this person. They just need to go in. They just need to trust their intuition. Events, a creative endeavor, yeah. So this person might try to communicate or interact with you in a very creative form okay maybe you will uh, like receive a friend request or a follow request maybe you are hearing some songs maybe there are synchronicities or pictures or something some kind of a song or lyrics which confirm that this person is constantly thinking about you and is about to approach you in some manner. We are already in Pisces season, guys. And in some of my previous videos, it was very strongly coming up that Pisces season would be a season where it's the beginning of spring, blossoming abundance, beginning of spring, which brings in a lot of new beginnings. Perhaps this Pisces season is the time you just might hear from your person. Okay, in some form, I'm not saying that it's going to be a full-on, face-to-face, direct communication. It could be any kind of an interaction or a communication, right? So just really trust your intuition and use your own discernment, guys. It will be different for each and every one of you because this is a general reading. I cannot specify, right? Okay, so lastly, what messages need to come out? What does this person wants to say? Three cards, please. Thank you. What messages need to come out for this reading? What does this person wants to say? Dwell on what you love. Mm -hmm. You don't need to worry about anything, guys. Okay, just keep doing you. Keep doing what you love. And let this person come in on their own. Anything else, please? Things are not as they appear, yeah. So, for some of you, it could be a message that what you think about this person, maybe in some ways it's not correct. Maybe there's 
something else going on in this person's life. Maybe you are not aware of it, but you soon might get aware of it. For some of you, if this person is trying to approach you, okay, so I hear music outside. There could be, if some songs are coming up, guys, like suddenly, randomly, if a song comes up in your mind, if you are hearing some songs that are playing around you, it's a sign from the universe. Just really listen to the lyrics. This person is trying to communicate with you, okay? Yeah, so for some of you, if this person does try to communicate or interact with you, it might be from like a fake account, from an unknown account, okay? Things are not as they appear. This person is constantly dwelling on you. They are dwelling on what they love. They love you. They are dwelling on you, but they don't feel perhaps good enough. So they are trying to keep an eye on you from a different account, perhaps, okay? Okay, and one last card, please. I just saw 3113. Yeah, so we have a lot of mirroring going on, guys. Prepare to be astounded. Everyone is doing their best. Yes, this person is, is about to do something. And they're, they're trying, they're going to try their best to come back into your vicinity, at least from where they, you know, they can keep an eye on you. But just get to know what's going on with you. For some of you, it just might be a straight up communication like, hey, how are you? Something like that. And it might really astound you. Okay, because you were not expecting it. All right, lots of messages there. Oh, wow, you will be surprised. Yes, you will be surprised, guys. Maybe you were not expecting it, but it's just coming in. After this triple two, triple two portal, which has just passed day before yesterday, very strong light codes have come in, okay? There's the collective is awakening and very strong light codes are coming in. So, you know, just expect something different. Prepare to be astounded because something is going to happen now very soon, right? All right, guys, this was your reading. I hope it resonated and helped you in some way. Sending you much love and light. I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.